Michelin, a better way forward. Today, the Dakar leaves Arequipa in Peru and enters Chile. From the endless dunes, the landscape turns to stony tracks. Watch out for punctures. There were two different routes for cars and bikes. The car started with the long cling section before 172 km special. At km 70, Alatia is punched in as leader Bernani Roma is chasing. The mini driver attacks and overtakes the GC leading trio. Alatia and De Villiers are in the same minute, and Peter Ansel, his teammate, is more than one minute adrift. Alatia is less efficient in his buggy at the end of the stage. His teammate, Carlos Sainz, is in a better form than the previous days. Burden with an over three hour gap at the GC, the Spaniard bounces back to finish in the top five of the stage. No major trouble for the cars today, instead probably a little disappointment for Gerda Schischrit, second yesterday and trailing 15 minutes today in 23rd position. At the finish, Nani Roma confirms his good performance. He clinches the stage ahead of Peter Ansel, Nasser Alatia loses six minutes to Roma. No change at the overall standing, Stefan Peter Ansel still leads, followed by Alatia ten minutes behind, Gignard de Villiers more than 30 minutes adrift. The bike special was shorter, 136 kilometers. David Kester, second at the GC this morning, takes command early and leads at the first checkpoint at kilometer 20. Joan Barrett aboard is close behind, 59 seconds exactly, but afterwards the winner of stage 4 takes the wrong track, then suffers mechanical problems. His fuel pump lets him down and he lost 30 minutes fixing the failure, a hard blow he might find hard to recover from. Back to the leading group. If David Castor is a regular, some riders less used to first row start to shine. For these guys, it's a good opportunity to jump up at the overall classification. It's the case for Slovakia Svitko, 12th at the GC before the stage, and Spain's Pedrero Garcia, 23rd. Halfway through the stage, they are second and third. At the arrival in Arica, the leaders' duel did take place. David Castor is followed by Olivier Pain, 1 minute and 9 seconds adrift. The two most powerful Yamahas prevail. Juan Pedrero makes a good effort and finishes third. Svitko did well too, his sixth. There are the stage's surprises. Depre arrives fifth at four minutes. At the GC, the three French riders are still on the provisional podium, with Yamahas Olivier Pain and David Castor in less than a minute, ahead of KTM Cyril Depre, six minutes behind the leader. For now, the bikers have traveled more than 2,000 kilometers, still counting. <laughs> 